Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you, non-farm payroll, 3rd of May. Obviously, it's a Friday, so let's make it a good Friday. Nothing going on overnight, as to be expected. Let's just go over what the bars looked like yesterday. Doji, in all sense of the word, in uh, ES there got down to that magical 2900 level and bounced this is a tradable short now uh, you can resell up here 2929 at this kind of death knock of the trend line you really don't want this thing to get over yesterday's high if you believe in dojis and candlesticks what does it really mean it's just indecision so the bulls and the bears are not are undecided you want the next move to leave the bears in control. So today you want you want to see a move down through 2900. Anyway, hopefully your average is excellent. We did a lot of trading in ES yesterday, um, and so we we have a tidy little average. As we talked about, this whole program uh, is a kill above 2950. Technically, you could wait for 2961, um, and again, it'll probably depend on what your average is. But this kind of bearish engulfing, you really want some pro profound, powerful moves down very soon after it for it to be real. So today's our day. We have a macro event. If this comes out moderately strong or even in line, the rates markets are going to readjust even more. I think their 16 basis point cut is priced in. Um, that'll be reduced even more. Uh, and hopefully that'll be our catalyst. Otherwise, we have European CPI today. Bears in control in Euro. Um, no real technical levels. We're dead in the middle of the uh, of the range. CPI is typically very, very uneventful in Europe. hasn't had any volatility um, in its releases in a long time. So I mean, we'll watch it. We don't really have a trade set up for it. Core short euro yen has been paying for us. Um, we'll stick with that theme uh, Euro dollar I mean we were short a little bit yesterday but then we just squared it 75 uh, also short Aussie which is a little more interesting um, we did pierce the 90 level put in an 84 low but if we get a strong number, Aussie is your horse today. So if we get a strong U.S. number, Aussie is your horse. This is a very important um, place here, very important chart point here. Um, 70 cents, 69.90. On the bigger picture, it's all just kind of one chart point. Daily close below uh, 70 cents today, and this will have some more more room. Of course, we have RBA next week. Hard to imagine um, they're going to be anything but dovish. Let me just check up the DAX, uh, DAX futures. So we talked about this yesterday on Twitter. Yesterday's low, um, 12.276. If we make a new low today, we're going to start um, shorting the DAX. Uh, I think I mentioned my hit ratio and my global P&L uh, for DAX trading is terrible. Um, I rarely trade it. But I think uh, I trade it 10 times a year, and I'm always just kind of flat. Usually I have like two really good trades and then eight crappy ones. Um, so buyer beware. Uh, but we will be playing with the DAX below 12,275, basically yesterday's low, 
This is the DAX futures. Anyway, I don't want to blather on. We got non farms today. Uh, typically, I take the morning off, uh, get on the bike, do some miles in the mountains, get my head right. Uh, I suggest you all do the same. Um, doesn't have to be exercise, could be just relaxation with a book or coffee with a friend or watch some some of your favorite uh, YouTube clips or whatever. Just relax this morning. There's no trading to be done. Uh, and get your head right for this afternoon. Good luck out there, people. Make lots of dough. See ya.